In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Wix SEO. I'm going to explain what you need to do here step by step and give you some basic tips and tricks on how you can get your website to rank higher in Google. Now, this won't be a super complicated video because SEO in general can get really advanced and really complicated, but I'm going to show you here in an easy to follow format. I'm going to show you step by step. So let's jump into it. So the first thing that you need to do once you're on your Wix website is make sure you've got a Wix premium plan and you've connected a custom domain. So you can see here is my website, Grow Online. It's just an example website for a video. Generally, what I'm going for with this website is Grow Online is a company that helps people grow their brand online, right? So this is gonna be my example website. And you can see I've connected a domain. The domain isn't relevant to the name. The domain is just knowledge base online. But what is important here is you connect a relevant domain to your website. Now, you can get the cheapest Wix plan to do this. If you're still on the Wix free plan, I highly, highly recommend you upgrade if you're serious about ranking on Google and you're serious about SEO. Now, once we've got a domain connected, what we can actually do is submit our website to Google Search Console, and it's then going to get Google to rank your website higher because you're essentially submitting your website to Google and you're saying here, here's my website, rank it higher. So to do that, you want to go to Google and just type in here Google Search Console and then go to the first one and you can see improve your performance on Google Search. So we want to go ahead and click Start Now and what we can do is submit our website to Google Search Console. Now the way you do that, once you're inside of Google Search Console, click on this downwards arrow, then go ahead and go Add Property and then you can add in your domain through any of these two different ways. You're going to have to follow the instruction on screen, but I'm going to enter it in here with this URL prefix method. So all you need to do is copy your domain name, head over to Google Search Console, paste it in here, click continue, and it's then going to verify your ownership, which is great. Now we've done that, we can go to property, and here's going to be our website. Here we can track the performance and the analytics and all of that. Now, one thing that you need to do is go ahead and go to sitemaps and you can go ahead and submit a sitemap to Google Search Console. Now, for your sitemap, all you want to do is type in here, well, your domain should already be there. So just type in here sitemap.xml and that's going to be your sitemap here. So just go ahead and submit that and it's going to submit essentially a map of your website with all of the pages and all of the contents on it. And every time you update your website, the sitemap will be updated. It essentially just tells Google here what your website is about and like kind of like what links to what in terms of the contents. So go ahead and dismiss that. And once you've added your sitemap, we can go on to the next step. So the next step, you want to go inside of your Wix editor. You want to go to pages and menu. And from here, you want to click on the home, go to the three dots, go to settings. And then here we've got all of these different settings. So What's your page name on your menu? That's going to be home. This is going to be our home page. We can also go into advanced settings here if we wanted to just change the settings just for the home page. But in terms of SEO, we want to first go to the SEO basics tab. And this is going to be important because this here is going to be the visual changes that you make and they're going to show up on Google. So Wix has an SEO setup checklist which we're going to go to in a second. But first we want to customize this here and make this as SEO friendly as possible. So for your homepage, and this is what people are going to see on Google, right? For your homepage, you want to just go ahead and type in your website name. So my name is Grow Online. Then you want to type here this divider line, then explain in a couple of words what your website is, helping people grow online and then if you are a small company which is based in a specific location maybe you want to type out the location here so if i'm just covering let's say london we can put london here now because this is a worldwide kind of like marketing agency i'm going to remove that but if you are a location-based company adding the location here is going to really help rank in google because sometimes people will search your name and then the location. If you are a gardener and you've got a Wix website advertising your gardening services, you put your name here, you put gardening services, and then you would put the location. And it just tells Google here what your website is about. 
and try and keep this under like 75 characters because when people search on Google, they're going to see this. Okay, so now you've got your meta description, which is also going to show in the search results. So if we go to Google and we just type in here gardening services London, you can see the first two lines here are going to be shown on Google. So, and you can see here in London in their website name. So the first two lines here are going to be shown on Google search results. So you want to add your website name and the keywords that you're trying to target in the first couple of lines. So I'm going to put here, grow your online business or brand with grow online. We help companies of all sizes grow their online presence. And that's what I'm going to write. You can see we've got the keyword grow online. We've got business online business brand we've got all of these different keywords here which are going to show in the search results then here you want to select let search engines index this page make sure that is checked so now moving on to advanced seo and you can see here the google preview here will show grow online helping people grow online and this just looks a lot better than what it did previously and it's going to be much better for seo we can also see these changes here and see how long it's going to take to update if you click here. So next, moving on to advanced SEO. Now in advanced SEO, you can go ahead and add rich results. So if I search here something like how to grow on YouTube, a rich re result is going to be one of these. And you can see Sprout Social have got this rich result. Now this gets a little bit more advanced and I don't really want to cover this in the video. Otherwise, this is going to be like a 30 minute video. And to be honest, I'm not really the person to give you advice on this. I'm just going to give you advice on basic SEO. So once we've done this section here, we can go to the SEO setup checklist. So we want to go ahead and click on get started. And it's going to ask here, what is your business or brand's name? I'm going to put here grow online, then go next. Where does this business serve its customers? I'm going to put here nationwide, click next. And you want to answer these and obviously make these answers relevant for your business. Which keywords do you want to use? Well, I'm going to put here grow online, marketing agency and social media. Then we're going to go ahead and click next. You can also ask Wix for keyword ideas. And this is where your keyword research will come in. Again, if I can show you keyword research, it's going to get a lot more advanced. So you can see we've got pretty much all of these covered except for submit the site for indexing to Google Search Console, which I'm pretty sure we've already done. It's just not updated yet. Now here it's going to ask you on step two to optimize the page for search results. Now you want to create an about page and also a quick tip, an FAQ page is also going to be really good for ranking. So if I go to Google and type in is an FAQ page good for SEO? You can see here when optimized for relevant keywords, FAQ pages can be great for SEO. Now, why are they good for SEO? Well, they're good for SEO because people are going to be searching for questions and yeah, specific questions that they want answers for. And you can answer them in your FAQ section. So how can you make an FAQ section? So you can make it on your homepage. You can make it as an FAQ page. But generally, you want to put it on your homepage. So just find a place to put it. I'm just going to add a section here and I'm going to just add a blank section. Now here I can go ahead and add a FAQ widget. So if we go add elements, we can go search and add a FAQ. So I'm going to add the Wix FAQ. So we'll click on that and it's going to open up the app marketplace where we can then find this FAQ widget. So add it to site and then it should just open here. Okay, so here we've got frequently asked questions. And what you can do here, you can go ahead and manage FAQs. And inside of here, we can go ahead and customize these questions and answers. So we'll edit this. What is an FAQ question? Well, maybe I want to write here very specific questions that someone might have about my industry. Like, let's go back to the gardening example. You might want to write here, how much do gardening services cost? Or how often should I cut my grass? Or you know, how often should I water X plant? Just very specific questions that they might have. Now, when they go ahead and search them in Google and your FAQ has the answer, obviously Google are going to rank you higher and it's just going to be a net positive for your website because if people click on it after seeing your FAQ, they're going to see your products and services and see what you have to offer and they potentially could be a buyer. And that's what SEO is, right? It's getting your website as high as possible 
in front of people who need your product or service. So go ahead and configure an FAQ section. Again, you can go ahead and read more about FAQs by just Googling. I can't explain all of this in this video, one, because it's going to be long, and two, because I really only know the basics. There are much more in detail videos, which are like 40 minutes to two hours long on this, which you can go and watch. But in short, you want to make sure that your page is optimized for the Google snippet. So when people go ahead and Google something, your page is optimized here. You want to make sure that all of your keywords you're trying to target are scattered through your website. You've got an FAQ section with the keywords. And that's basically all you need to do for the basics. I hope that was helpful and you did find some value. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.